Good day, folks. Pastor Jim Thomas from the Village Chapel here in Nashville, Tennessee, with your daily devotion. Reading today from Through the Year with William Still, that great old Scottish preacher, 50 years at the same church doing expository verse-by-verse Bible teaching, uh, much uh, uh, the hero of mine to, to be that sort of a person and that faithful for that long doing that kind of teaching and preaching. Um, reading here a uh, passage of his, just a short reading from 2 Corinthians uh, 1, five, which is a verse that says, For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. And I I, I don't know what you might be going through and, and uh, don't have time in five or ten minutes to tell you all of the, the stuff I'm going through, but I know this, we have this in common if we trust Christ, if we believe in Christ, uh, we join with him not only in his his death and his resurrection, but in the life that, that he's offered to give us and uh, the abundant life that he's put on offer to us. But sometimes that includes going through some suffering uh, for his glory. And uh, it says here, for just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. And so the God of all comfort comforts us. Uh, and then he does that for a reason, so that we might also be able to pass that same comfort along to others. Let's see what Pastor Still has to say. Here's a marvelous word, he says. See how suffering and comfort come together. Just as the sufferings of Christ flow over and overspill into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. But let us ask how either of these works. It is because we are sharers in the life and death of Jesus Christ. We are baptized into his death, and if we are baptized into his death, we are certainly baptized into his resurrection life. And, you know, so often when we do water baptism at the village chapel, I, I love the way it so physically represents that. We, we uh, you know, we practice immersion as a form of baptism, that is, instead of sprinkling, since we have the luxury of doing it, and we've got this uh, baptismal over at uh, Village Chapel, East Nashville, we can uh, dunk people all the way under and bring them all the way up. And it's such a great physical reminder of how we're united with Christ in his death. We go down into the water in his burial. We're down under the water. And then his resurrection, we rise to new life in Christ indeed. And so uh, Pastor Steele goes on to say, this must mean a total identification with the eternal being of Jesus Christ so that we are able by his living spirit indwelling us to draw upon the divine resources of his infinite being. And that's just a remarkable thing to ponder uh, for a bit because I I'm a finite being, and I have a finite amount of joy. I have a finite amount of love for others, especially people that annoy me. I have a finite amount of uh, patience with people who are uh, not sort of keeping up or moving ahead. And I have a finite amount of of tolerance for, for uh, people who differ with me in terms of their opinions or people who... Uh, uh, might come to me with some kind of a complaint or that sort of thing. So here what we have is, he says, divine resources to draw upon. That is, when we run out of love, when we run out of patience, when we, we run out of joy, when we run out of faith itself to even trust Christ, uh, we even receive that as a gift from him, you see. And so the divine resources of his infinite being are on offer to you and on offer to me. Pastor still goes on to say, we become, in fact, channels through which his life, that's the life of Christ, and that includes experience of his sufferings and his death, flows to others. It is obvious that the usefulness of a pipe prepared to be a channel is that it is open at both ends, ready to be laid in the ground, even buried into the ground so that it may never be seen, but its precious stream will flow through it to the blessing of others, possibly far away. In our day, pipes are used not only for water and gas, but also for oil, he says. In Scripture, it's a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Oil is indeed a symbol of the Holy Spirit. And the idea that the life of Christ would flow through his people, indeed, is the, the very 
uh, thing that, that God would like for us to get out of all of this. Well, pastor still closes with this, and I'll close uh, with this last uh, couple sentences here in a prayer. Isn't it wonderful that our connection with the Lord Jesus is so vital that his life, death, and rising can flow through us with saving, sanctifying power to those who may benefit from the overflow of our abundant lives. Oh, wow. I'm both uh, encouraged and challenged by this myself today. Perhaps you are as well. Uh, encouraged in the sense that I I don't, I don't need to go through the rest of this day thinking that it's just about the resources that are within me, within my heart, uh, within, you know, my levels of kindness or patience or tolerance or whatever. I, I, I'm going to probably run out of most of that is the honest truth. And at some point though, um, what he wants us to do, and I think this is really brilliant and, and so true when we think about what gospel living really means is that the life of Christ would flow through me, would flow through you uh, to others, so that uh, when we bump up against the circumstances that are undesirable, unwanted, um, and which we would rather not uh, go through, when we uh, have those feelings rising up within us, we would just surrender to the Holy Spirit and allow the life of Christ to flow through us. So we might love that person in our family that might be a little unlovable lovable, or that or that that parent or that child or, or that spouse or whatever it might be, that God would grant to us the gift of his heart so that our heart would look a little bit more like his heart in the midst of it all. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for another day to live and move and have our being to uh, serve as uh, little mini mirrors reflecting your heart uh, out into the world in which we live, however small and confined that world might be, however large that world might be. Lord, I pray that your image would be seen in us. Uh, Lord, that your love, um, that your grace, that your mercy would reflect uh, through our lives to others. And Lord, that uh, what we receive from you, uh, we would be quick and ready and eager even to share with others. We pray this in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen and amen. God bless you. Daily Devotions with Pastor Jim Thomas is a resource of the Village Chapel in Nashville, Tennessee. If you find this daily devotional beneficial, leave a review and share it with friends and family. For more resources or to support our ministry, visit our website, thevillagechapel.com. Artwork for this podcast by Kim Thomas. Music by Phil Kagey.